In this video, we'll balance the equation for CH3OH plus Na. This is methanol and this is sodium metal. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have one carbon, hydrogen's three, but be careful, you gotta count this one as well. So we have four hydrogen atoms, one oxygen, and one sodium. Product side, we have the one carbon, we have three hydrogens here, and then two out here. That gives us five, one oxygen, and one sodium. It looks like we're going to need to do something with the hydrogen here. And I think probably the best thing to do is let's get it to an even number. If I put a coefficient of two in front of this compound here, let's count the atoms up again. So now we have one times two, two carbons, and then three times two, that's six plus these two. So now we have eight hydrogens, that's helpful. Two oxygens and then two sodiums. So at this point, I think if I just put a two in front of the methanol, That'll balance the carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. So let's do that and update our numbers. So now we have one times two, that's two. Carbons are balanced. For the hydrogens, we have three times two, that's six, plus this one times two. That gives us eight, those are balanced. One times two for the oxygens, those are done. And then just the sodiums, we'll put a two in front of the Na, one times two. And that's it, this equation is balanced. The key here, we had this odd number of hydrogens. We put a two in front of this compound. That gave us an even number and it made it possible to balance the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CH3OH plus Na. Thanks for watching.